So that's what's gonna happen, man. In that third, whoa, third world war. All right, All right. flame, fire, and destruction is coming, man. And only a, a, a certain group is gonna be safe. Now, are there, are there gonna be people all across the world that live and that make it out of that? Yes, but they're not gonna be saved. They're gonna be put into shackles. They're gonna be put under subjection. That's not salvation. That's work. Right. Salvation means relief. Relief is not coming to all the nations of the world. Relief is only coming for one nation. All right? Now, has our nation been scattered all across the world? Yes. You will have some of our people coming looking like all the nations, but they all, the bloodline goes back to the nation of Israel. Okay? But we're sticking to the topic here. What you still had Isaiah 29. Yeah, Isaiah 29, and I want Job. Mm -hmm. Start at like six of the four, you know, four kind of point. You know what I'm talking about? Where it says seek the council. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like 29, 24, something like that. You said seek the council. That's his song, man. No, no, no. I want Joe, I want Isaiah, the 29th chapter. 29th chapter. Get the 15th verse. Yeah, Isaiah 29 and 15. Calm, calm, Woe unto calm. them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Yeah, woe unto them. We talked about that woe. What does that mean? Destruction, great peril. Now, who's who's who seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord? These elites. These elites think that the Most High and the men of the Lord don't know or don't understand their intent. But through the spirit of Yah Bashim Shah, everything's being revealed, man. That's why the Most High put it in the minds of Esau to create this internet, man, and have this internet be pushed out. Because just like the elders say, within minutes, you have everything being uploaded for your for for, for your information, man. You know, somebody get uh, somebody get ran over on this block, it'll be on YouTube within 15 minutes. Crackhead gets ran over on Main Street, you know. So, so, so the Most High ha has the counsel of the uh, of the wicked being revealed, man, to to to, to the elect group of men of the Lord and to certain people all across the world, man. Yeah. All right. Who who see it thus and who know it thus? Surely your turning of things. Hold on. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. What does that mean? Because your turning of things upside down is in the hands of the Heavenly Father. You never really had control. You think that you had control. But really I just set you up to do this so I can destroy you. So I can hammer you. Go ahead. For, the, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Yeah, man, so the so, so-called white man thinks that he's created this whole entity. He thinks that he's created this whole enterprise that he's excelling in. When actua in actuality, it's the energy that's been put on him to do so, man. That's right. But he thinks that he's created it out of his own power and volition. Well, that, well, well you're wrong. The reason why you created the UN, the UN the reason why you created NATO, the reason why you created the EU, the World Bank, the IMF, and all the other world power structures and institutions was to come together, fight against one another, and to destroy one another. Yes! Yes! That's the reason. Okay? That's it on that. Give me Job. Job, chapter 20. Uh-huh. Starting at verse 20. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. 16. 16. Verse 16. He shall suck All the poison. Job chapter 20, verse 16. He shall suck the poison of aspis, the viper's tongue, and shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. Oh my bad. Honey and butter that which he labored for shall he restore. Shall not swallow it down according to his substance, shall shall the restitution be. And be shall not rejoice therein. Because he hath oppressed and, and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away a house which he buildeth not. Yeah, who's who's violently taken away a house which he buildeth not? Esau, man. Esau didn't build this place, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans built it. And you guys always, and you guys always get mad talking about that we're talking about.
about race. We didn't make this whole race issue up. You did, man. That's right, that's right. We don't really, to be honest, man, most of the time, we're not even talking about what you think of as race. You created all these uh, status quo ideas about race. We didn't. All right, you're just mad because people recognize that you jacked everything up, man. That's right. All right, you you created this hellhole, and the people are so blinded that they live paycheck to paycheck, debt to debt, as a slave, thinking that they're free, knowing that they're free. That idea, when, yeah. With this this <laughs> this idea that if I can get this better job, I'll be more free. Instead of going to Colorado, baby, we can go to Cabo. <laughs> Let me get my passport. You know, that's not freedom, okay? That's not power, that's not control, okay? So this man has set up a, a wicked society that has oppressed the poor. Who's those poor people? The Most High is always focused on his children. The chosen seed. The nation of Israel, which comprises mostly of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Keep reading. Verse 20. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save, save of that which he desires. Yeah, because he's eaten down, but he's not going to feel quietness in his belly. So basically, he's came to your table, gobbled everything up, sitting down, but now his stomach hurts. Because everything that he's eaten is about to come back up. Alright? You ate too much. Alright? Because you're a greedy asshole. So now you're sitting over the toilet talking about, uh, <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Well, it's too late. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming back up. It's coming. And it's going to come back up with violence. <laughs> when you throwing up, you that's violent. <gasps> It's coming out. So the so-called so -called white man is about to vomit up everything that he's eaten. What has he eaten? He's eaten up all the resources of the world, and cheaply he's eaten up the apple of the eye of the Heavenly Father. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You children of Israel, he's eaten up, man. But he's getting ready to vomit it back up. Okay, go ahead. Verse 21. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his good. Ain't nobody gonna give a damn about this man. Go ahead. In the in the fullness of his sufficiency, uh -huh. he shall be in straits. In the fullness of his sufficiency, when he's about to acquire his new world order agenda, when he's about to chip you, he's already got martial law passed on paper, and when he puts it in full action, when he thinks that he's gonna go into Iran and control the whole Middle East area, which that's the area that he's always been fighting for since back in the time of Esau. He's wanted that area because that area is 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 is, is, is the is where the uh, Eden is or the the Garden of Eden is. Okay, eastward in Eden. Go ahead. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Every hand is wicked. Now, when you look up that word wicked right there, it's just talking about Goyim. Every hand of these other nations is going to come up, come up against him, man. Okay? All the heathens are going to come against him. Go ahead. When he is about to fill his belly, uh -huh. the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Yeah, man. So when he's about to get everything that he thinks, the Most High is going to cast cast his fury upon him. What is that fury that we've been talking about? Thermonuclear destruction. Right. Via World War III. Go ahead. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Mm -hmm. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel uh -huh. shall strike him through. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Now, if you had an iron arrow and bow, can that shoot very far? No, you know, a bow needs flexibility. So it's not talking about a literal bow. That iron weapon is talking about ICBM. All right. All right, go ahead. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. It's going to come out those missile silos. Or going to come out them, uh, what, what's the carriers called? The, is it aircraft carriers that they shoot the ICBM from off the coast? Okay. They're going to come out of there, man. Go ahead. Yea, the glistering sword, glittering, oh, oh, that's a lie. The glittering sword cometh out of his gall. 
terrorists are upon it. Yeah, it's gonna be very terrifying when you hear about Boston being decimated, when you hear about DC being in cataclysmic destruction. All right, it's gonna be very terrifying when you see these places all across America be utterly wasted away. All right, go ahead. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. Uh, it says a, fi a fire not blown. Now, typically, if you start the fire, what do you need to ignite that fire? You need oxygen. Yep. You're trying to start a fire, you blow on it. But this says a fire not blown shall consume him. Because, because it's going to be a thermonuclear fire. It's going to be splitting of atomic energy. Hydrogen bonds or ionic bonds or different types of bonds are going to be broken which is going to consume this place okay a fire not blown go ahead it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle yeah man and it's not going to go well with the tabernacle tabernacle of edom because this is esau's tabernacle this is his place this is his kingdom Right. And we're gonna watch his kingdom burn. Right, right, right. Go right. willing from the sky, and then we're gonna come back and rule right. as a prophecy right. state. Right. Right. Now, basically, all these prophecies are in the Bible. Now, Luke 24 and 44 tells you all of these things have to be fulfilled. So, there's a group of people on the planet Earth that are gonna fulfill this prophecy, man. Right. That's how we know who Esau is through prophecy. So, the brothers going through these prophecies, these things haven't happened yet, man. Now the scriptures say once Esau is destroyed, the kingdom of heaven will be set up. That means Esau is still here. Because I've been reading up on Esau, and like they're basically trying to say after the Jewish Roman wars, Esau disappeared as a nation. Esau is still here, man. These prophecies are talking about Esau, man. That's that's how we know who he is. That's how we know which Babylon is. Yeah, and it doesn't even make sense. How how did the nation of of, of Edom disappear when the Romans were Edomites? You go into a Bible, uh, Bible, Eastern Bible dictionary and look up Herod, tells you that he's an Idumi, which is Greek for, for Edom. So, so they killed all the Jews and just floated away into, into nothing. It's, no. No. That would go against prophecy. Prophecy say once he's destroyed, the kingdom of heaven will be set up. He ain't in the kingdom. Right, so he's still here. You got people that say that, that Israel has done away with his work. Now Israel don't exist, but you, you got all the 12 tribes right here. The Lord said if the sun and the moon, you know, haven't been taken away, then Israel will still be here. The seed of Israel. Right, the seed of Israel. Right. So it's, it's like, you got all these people that think they know the scriptures, think they know what they're talking about. But the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with certain men. And they're set up to give you the true understanding of that. If you don't want to hear it, then... Also, give me Jeremiah 15. Jeremiah 15. Just like, if I say it real quick, just like the hell, the hell that the brother was talking about, that, that word hell goes back to basanos, the Greek word basanos, and it just means torture, torments. And that's when, when these nuclear missiles come out the sky, on two thirds of our na the nation of Israel, when you feel that fire, that's torture and torment. Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From, from thence she shall be taken away. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. What, what, is, what is that directing those arrows, the, the satellites? Satellites is going to direct the ICBMs to hit the marks perfect. Right. They're not going to move out of their rank yet. Joel, the second chapter. All right? They're not going to move out of their rank. They're going to land with precision. Okay? And I know y'all tired of hearing about destruction and peril and definitely you want to hear happy stuff and high fives and doing jumping jacks and rolling on the ground with in the lilies, but that's not what's coming to this place. Let's be honest with ourselves. What has America sown in the world? Warfare. So what is it going to reap? Warfare. Warfare is coming to America. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. Joel. 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 Two and uh, two. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds 
and of thick darkness 